हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई एम सोमो गांधीगिरी वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड वी आर गोइंग टू रिकॉर्ड अ वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड फॉर यू ओके सो टुडे वन ऑफ माय क्लोज फ्रेंड एंड मिस्टर शुभम रॉय हैज ज्वाइंड विद अस फ्रॉम इजराइल ओके ही इज डूइंग पीएचडी फ्रॉम द हेब्रू यूनिवर्सिटी ओके सो ही हैज ज्वाइंड विद अस टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग PhD in medicinal chemistry in India and abroad okay so before starting this video we can share you some important points like if you are interested to do PhD from uh, any naipur or any institutions with fellowship after mpharm then you can watch uh, my previous videos all the links i am giving to you in the description box please have a look okay so in those videos particularly we have discussed some other uh, points like uh, how to crack naipur je phd how to crack naipur je phd in pharmacology okay specially then uh, my phd interview experience in naipur okay and uh, what are the options uh, to do phd in india with fellowships okay you can watch those videos and i am uh, giving the links in the description box first of all subham very very warm welcome to you okay so i hope the situation thank you very much for inviting me so i hope the situation between israel and palestine okay so is going to normalize okay so my my first question to you subham that please give us a general outline about the future of a student after doing phd in medicinal chemistry in india Okay, so PhD basically those pharma institute provide that degree in PhD in medicine and chemistry. Otherwise, those other institute like uh, any central government institute or IIT, IIR, uh, CSI, they also provide degree in uh, chemistry. But uh, after doing PhD, obviously that uh, industry will always remain open for everyone. And uh, I and uh, if someone want to enter into the academia then for them uh, i would say that uh, at least one post of degree is important especially if someone want to be assistant professor in any government or renowned indian institute then in their case post of will also be required so yes industry or academia both will gradually open after doing phd but it is not mandatory without even doing phd also many people enter into the industry and they grow up with time okay okay so one uh, more point i have missed out okay so that subham has already cracked csr net in chemical science so my next question to you that tell us the road to do phd in medicinal chemistry with fellowship in india okay so how a student in india can do phd in medicinal chemistry with fellowship Okay. Okay, so first of all, uh, to do PhD with fellowship, we have to crack any national level exam. So even if you have only qualified GPAT, in then in that case also you can apply. But uh, preferentially, if you have qualified GATE also, like GATE chemistry, uh, I'm talking about only chemistry, or CSIR net uh, chemical science. In that case, the opportunity will be even higher. So there are some website uh, in India like I can remember Rasayanika or Pharma Tutor or you you will also know like so from you I mean one need to follow those website regularly so that they can get all update like in which university under which professor some JRF position is uh, there or direct PhD opportunity is there so basically. Uh, in india one need to qualify first of all either gpat or gate or csi net and then one need to uh, keep tracking those news i mean those open position and uh, yes anything else like okay so uh, you have <laughs> got a magnificent rank in csi net uh, chemical science okay so can you share your preparation strategy and pre- experience gathered during the preparation regarding csr net chemical science please share with our viewers yes yes csr net chemical science like 
for a student of pharmacy background it is difficult to get and i am not saying that it is easy but get get chemistry is still easy like if someone just want to prove that he knows chemistry like but i am coming from a pharmacy background so people always think that no i am a pharmacist i don't know chemistry so just to prove that you know chemistry i, I would say that get chemistry is easy to uh, uh, yes get chemistry is easier than csnet csnet uh, is difficult to crack but uh, like once you crack it you will get that certificate of uh, to be what as a assistant professor in in indian university in future but again in csnet also there is two category one is ls lectureship and another one is jrf uh, so for my case i only qualified ls and if someone qualified jrf then that is like 100% uh, like 100% opportunity that they will get fellowship directly from indian government okay so uh, like csr net jrf is the like uh, the most desired option uh, prestigious uh, yeah, yes it is the uh, most prestigious thing uh, because uh, you will directly get fellowship from government otherwise if you only qualify uh, ls then also you will get uh, like uh, net ls or uh, get with these two also you can apply from any university like any reputed university iit iisr or csr or even in naipur also so uh, now uh, coming to the like how to qualify uh, net uh, like i am no one to say like uh, i'm i'm from pharmacy background so i cannot uh, precisely say the what to do what not to do but i can tell you my story like in chemical science there is three part like physical chemistry inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry so from a student of pharmacy background maybe it is difficult to like understand those physical chemistry it is not almost it's impossible but one uh, what one can do they can uh, study the organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry okay and like 100% organic chemistry 20% uh, 80% inorganic chemistry and 20% physical chemistry even by covering that 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 portion one can easily qualify csn at at least ls okay so it is not possible to cover 100% syllabus like i got you to me it is not possible and still we are, as we are coming from pharmacy background so yes i am again repeating as 20% physical chemistry 80% inorganic chemistry and 100% organic chemistry but it will take time it is not that within 6 month or 1 year it will cover it it will take time like 2 year 3 year but if someone is consistent then they can qualify it it is not also impossible Okay, thank you, Subham. My next question to you that how can a student from India get admission in PhD in foreign universities, like Hebrew University, where you are in right now? Okay, so uh, like foreign university means there is different country and in different country there is like different rules. Like in USA, is, uh, uh, I don't know what is their rule. They charge for fees or uh, but in. Israel or Europe, I can say that you need to direct contact your potential supervisor, and uh, because in here in Israel, the fellowship is directly coming from the uh, supervisor. So you first need to mail them, uh, describe if, if, if yes, like I have an experience from IIT Kharagpur as a junior research fellow student, and I worked in the project, so that was advantage for me. Okay, so if anyone has uh, worked as a any kind of project in india and they they can show that yes i have worked do those kind of work and if this work is matching uh, with the work of your potential supervisor foreign supervisor then definitely they will contact you okay uh, so first work is to uh, find your potential supervisor in different university and for that also there are some website like uh, find a phd i can understand uh, tell you find a phd scholarship.net so those are the few websites through which you need to first select your topic like you are interested in chemistry and inside chemistry you are interested in pharmaceutical chemistry or polymer chemistry or maybe spectroscopy so select those point and they will show you uh, the like this vacant position in different university under different professor and start to 
mail them. No? So this is the rules for Europe or Israel. In USA, there are or Canada, maybe there are some separate rule I cannot comment. I really don't know their exact procedure. So yes, start making your a good CV. Like yes, for CV also, rather than typing typing it in Word, there are certain uh, website like Europa. Yes, in Europa you can uh, put your data and they will build a CV for you. Okay, so use those software uh, to uh, like get a best to make a best CV. Uh, mail your CV for a search your uh, the vacancy vacant position through those website. Mail your potential supervisor. And the thing is like if you mail hundred supervisor hundred uh, uh, professor then maybe you will get two or three reply. Okay, out of two three maybe you will get one interview. So like in my case also I mail 200, 300, at least 300 so out of them I got reply from maybe 10 or 15. Out of 10, 15 I appeared in 5 or 6 interviews. Out of 5, 6 I finally get uh, this position at Israel. I also interviewed in different universities like UK, uh, Europe also, uh, in Denmark, other country also like Scotland, yes. But ultimately I came here. So it will take time, like it's not like in one day you will get a supervisor. So try to build your first own interest. Like you need to have a particular interest, you need to have your uh, research experience, and then start to convey your potential for a supervisor. So if this is long time, it's not one day time, but if you are consistent, then it will definitely work. Okay, okay. So fast, a student have to uh, find a guide, okay in yes, those yes. particular area which he or she is interested interested okay, okay. yes yes after that uh, the gu- matlab jo guide jo hota na unko mail karna hota hai pehle first you have to mail okay. all the okay. uh, guides mail. okay mail. then we will uh, hardly uh, respond you will get hardly respond from two or three or 10 percent or five percent guide will respond yes, yes. back you. Now, if, if yes if the guide is good then they can tell you that Right now I don't have vacancy, but your CV looks perfect for my lab, so you keep tracking my website or you mail me after two or three months. In that time, if I have any uh, vacancy, then I will contact you. So that also happens sometimes. That also happens sometimes. If the guide is good. Okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. So my last question to you that give us some tips for Niper J PhD medicinal chemistry aspirants. Okay. So because lot of uh, comments I got usually for please sir make a video for medicinal chemistry. You have already made a video for pharmacology. Okay. One of my junior you may know that the Lahun Nuguho who is currently in Niper Ahmedabad. Okay. He w- actually I made a video regarding pharmacology. Okay, PhD in pharmacology from Niper, and the video is there on YouTube. Okay, so the comments are coming. So please give up some, hey, give me some points. Okay. Uh, Niper, J for I think their syllabus is similar to like in like pharmaceutical chemistry. I actually, I, I also applied uh, for this exam, but I never. Uh, write for this exam. <laughs> I filled the form, but then I didn't write. So, yes, it, I think it will be based on organic chemistry or medicinal chemistry, but those who are already in NIPAR, they can guide you better, okay? Those who are in, already in NIPAR. So, this is the end of our video. Thank you, Subham, for joining with us. Okay. okay. Thank al- uh, thanks a lot. That, so your students will get at least some idea about yes, yes, yes. Uh, all of all of this query. But it is actually it is uh, up to the students if they or he or she is really motivated then they can do. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, it's all about motivation. And all about motivation. It's, it's up to the student. Uh, you alone cannot. Uh, it's up to the student. We. I I cannot say it's yes about his motivation. Okay, okay, so um, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining with us. Okay, so this is the end of our video. Hope all of you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.